What's up everyone, it's Demetrius Villa from the High Speed Rail America Club. By now, most of our regular viewers and subscribers are familiar with the high speed rail situation here in the US. If not, be sure to check out this video here, which will bring you up to speed. Did you know though, that there are also other countries in similar situations as well, trying to get their rail infrastructure back on track? In this episode, we're going to drill down four major countries planning to or in the works of building high speed rail. Mexico, Canada, India, and Australia. Let's take a bit of a tour around the world. Mexico, the US's southern neighbor that may or may not be paying for a potential bullet train wall depending on what happens in November. Apart from that, Mexico would love to build a high-speed train between its national capital of Ciudad de Mexico, Mexico City, and Santiago de Querétaro, the capital city of the eponymously named state of Querétaro. The plan, first introduced in 2014, called for the creation of a 210km or 130 mile long line between the two cities at 300 kilometers an hour or 186 miles an hour. The journey will take less than an hour as opposed to the regular three hours and two taco stops by car between the cities and have a project cost of around 2.7 billion US dollars. Some shady stuff started to happen when it was discovered that the winning consortium consisting of China Railway actually bribed President Enrique Peña Nieto and his wife with concessions including a $7 million mansion. The project was then put on indefinite suspension last year when the Mexican federal government had to cut back its budget. So far, no news when this particular project is going to come back, but there is another proposal floating around to connect Monterrey, Mexico, to San Antonio, Texas by high-speed rail. I hear they're going to hit a huge roadblock though. Canada, the US's northern neighbor that won't have a wall, for now but is home to the rail company known as Amtrak's slower in the head northern brother, Via Rail. You can count on Via Rail for the same low speed train service that we had when we incorporated in 1977. Rail, yesterday's speeds today. Yes, it is possible ladies and gentlemen, something ridiculed more than Amtrak. Across the ocean, they have bullet trains. Sounds scary. Let me tell you how scary. You could go from Toronto to Montreal in under 19 minutes. But how could I really get to know the stranger next to me who's got a nasal thing? Well, you couldn't. You'd be too busy arriving at your destination, overly rested. To be quite fair though, Canada actually started the whole high-speed rail network in the hemisphere, something known as the Turbo Train a gas turbine train that operated from Canada's capital and largest city Toronto to the second most popular city in the nation, Montreal, and capable of reaching speeds up 170 miles an hour. And it was an hour faster than the previous train service that ran between the two cities. The service also shared with Amtrak in the Northeast Corridor was unfortunately discontinued in 1982 due to rising maintenance and fuel costs. Today, Canada is trying to steer itself back and study after study after study. Have you ever dreamed of traveling by train from Toronto to Montreal in as little as two and a half hours? Well, now you can read about what that would be like in a new high-speed rail study. Study after study brings in new routes that will connect not only cities in Canada such as Toronto, Montreal, Ottawa, Kingston, London, Edmonton, Calgary, Quebec City, Windsor, Kitchener, Waterloo, and more, but also connect to and from American cities such as Albany, Seattle, Boston, Chicago, and Detroit. So what's good for Canada is actually good for us here in the United States too, eh? I hear they have a thousand kilometers of that high-speed rail in China. Eight thousand. They wouldn't do that here, would they? Relax, they're not even talking about it. Big thanks to this section to our Canadian counterpart High Speed Rail Canada. Also known as Tren à Grande Vitesse au Canada, they've been doing the best they can to push out this information and if you want to learn more, 
please check out their YouTube channel as well as the website and Facebook group. They need help also too as well. Bingo bango! Next stop, delicious! The Via High Speed Egg Salad Levy Tube. The future is now. India has been one of the world's largest rail networks and the fastest growing population in the world that is bound to pass China's within the next decade, more or less. It's a huge problem for a country grappling with infrastructure issues, especially when most of the world sees their infrastructure as this. This is literally what I get when I search India train on Google. So yeah, forget taking your poo to the loo on that, it's gonna have to slide to the side. India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi is pretty big on national pride and has long been a proponent to see his country successful in technology and business. And he recently approved of building a true high-speed railway between its most populous city Mumbai and Ahmedabad, the most populous city in the state of Gujarat. The deal was jointly signed by Modi himself, along with the blessing of the Prime Minister of Japan, Shinzo Abe. Pretty much out of every country on this list, congratulations India, you're the only country in this video with a deal signed, sealed and about to be delivered to get a real Japanese style Shinkansen for your country. Congratulations. Congratulations. Work on the 15 billion dollar 316 mile or 508 kilometer long line is set to begin in late 2017 and be completed by 2023. Trains will be capable of making the journey in 2 hours and 7 minutes at 220 miles an hour or 350 kilometers per hour. Guarantee that baby's going to move faster down the line than that curry in your stomach. The whole line in between will include 11 stations between Mumbai and Ahmedabad and 21 kilometers of the line will actually be an undersea tunnel between Thain and Varar. The foreign direct investment for the project will also comply with the Make in India program, something similar to the Buy America initiative which the technology will be transferred over from Japan to India so the trains can actually be made there and will be operated under the public sector company India Railways. Indeed, it's something extraordinary going on in India and we'll keep you posted in case of any more updates. Australia, the land down under may be embarking in arguably the most ambitious and mind-blowing high-speed rail project not just on this list but pretty much anywhere. In one of our previous Fast News segments, Darius shared information on a group in the outback known as Consolidated Land and Rail Australia, better known as CLARA. To clarify more on CLARA, we visited its website which unfortunately was not coded by a kangaroo. Uh, well, but wait, there's a lot more going on into this. It's essentially a five phase plan, the first one being to acquire the land and political capital to carry out the project which is being worked on now. The second phase after this is to build the 917 kilometer or 570 mile long track between Sydney and Melbourne utilizing Japan's magnetic levitating Shinkansen technology which is far more advanced and faster than the current steel rail technology capable of reaching speeds of over 603 kilometers an hour or 375 miles an hour. On top of that, Clara wants to build 8 new smart cities along the route that it would fund and build upon. That's right, this project is something out of a science fiction movie basically building new cities with high speed rail as the spine of the project. Using a term in real estate known as value capture, the estimated $200 billion Clara project would be funded through a mixture of the Central Japan Railway Company, Mitsui, GE, and other private investors, and pay that back through the long-term real estate. So maybe Australia won't have an apocalyptic future run by car and bike gangs. Maybe the hero it's getting is high-speed rail. Oh, what a day! What a lovely day! Well, we tried the world, and now we're back here in Miami. Hope we had enough stereotypes to put in. Ay Dios mio, look at the size of that roach. 
Tira-me lá a chancleta! Well, well, yeah. Well, anyway, I hear Brightline's gonna be opening up their new bullet train over to Orlando. So, for the 29th time this month, I'm gonna go visit Disney World, just like any other Floridian. Be sure to subscribe to the High Speed Rail America Club to keep up with the revolution here in America and around the rest of the world. We'll see you guys next time. Bingo Bango! <laughs>